A bit of red in the middle, but if he finishes right on the cushion, he'd be delighted. Oh, he's gone for the pot. Oh dear. Not so sure about that. Yeah, very surprised that he played the hit and halt there. Very surprised. And we give the calculated safety. One chance. So this is a chance for Ronnie. Just the red that's closest to the top cushion, you feel, is the one that will give him a problem. Eight. Yeah, so he takes high value colours with his four reds. He won't need the pink, which would have been another problem. Just one favourite now, Ronnie O'Sullivan, to win this frame. Yeah, but we take nothing for granted. As I say, that red along the top cushion. Could be Mark, Selby's saviour. So we're only deciding. 17. And the reason for this thinking, although he could have been better on the blue, easy to get on the red in bulk. And then if he doesn't get on the black correctly, he can always play a snooker on the awkward last red. And that's why he's leaving the awkward 22. last red till last. Quick glance at the scoreboard. Nine points behind. Twenty-three. Now, if he lands perfect on the red along the top cushion, where the nice angle, he doesn't have to play a lot of pace, he'd play it. If he doesn't, he's always the option of playing the snooker behind the black. Looks to be really pretty good. Anything but straight, though. If it's straight, it's no good. 28. If it's straight, you just make certain you pot the red and play the snooker behind the black. There shouldn't be any heroics here. Just three points behind. You birdie the red. And now you play the snooker. But he'd be pretty pleased he's got another chance in this frame. He'd have thought when he played that last safety shot and brought all reds into play, it could have been the end of that frame. But of course, the age old problem. And there's room around this yellow, but if he hits it, he's got to get it safe. Foul and a miss. Ronnie will have that Ronnie replaced. He won't even bother getting out of his seat. <coughs> and long frame, just over the half hour. Okay. Ronnie. But you have to say that we have a new favourite for it. Wow, again now, he doesn't want to leave a free ball. He doesn't want to leave a free ball. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. <laughs> yeah. Got very close this yellow, didn't he? <coughs> Amazing, and even in slow-mo, we couldn't tell how close it was. Okay, Ronnie. Surely this time he'll make a full ball contact. Amazing. Foul and a miss. All these points are very, very important now where the pink is. Ronnie also Ronnie four. now won't need the pink. Well, Ronnie didn't get out of his seat there to have a look at this. I know that Mark Sunkard, but Ronnie had a half ball pot there on the yellow. Okay. Okay. Could have been a frame winning chance. If he hits this yellow now and gets it safe, he may be regretting he's putting him back. Go on. 
And that's exactly what's happened. And amazing enough, that little cannon on the pink has helped Mark Selby. It's not helped Ronnie O'Sullivan. All of a sudden now, whoever pots the yellow goes favourite for the frame. Where's the cue ball going? Misjudged that completely. And he'll be taking this on. What a shot this is. See that the green's available in the middle because he felt if he stuns this and he can't particularly get the white on and off the cushion. Hmm, it was tough, wasn't it? Now, has he got second prize or has he been lucky? He's got the snooker. Now, when Ronnie comes off his side cushion, he wants to hit, as we look, the yellow on the right-hand side. And he's played it pretty well. But there is a chance of a pot. Don't get me wrong, this is a tough one. He's had a go at one yellow, missed it by a long way. Will he be tempted by this one? <laughs> Well, Vicky, obviously, and Vicky's mum and dad looking very, very tense, as you would expect. If he takes the deep screw on the yellow, it is possible that uh, he could actually almost screw in behind the pink. Now, that would be unlucky. Didn't fancy it, so played the safety, but the yellow's running loose. Well, Selby's had two pieces of... Very, very good fortune in his last visit, two visits to the table. That was asking oh, a lot. I miss. And this cue ball's very close to the corner. It won't go in, but if it rattles and moves across, it could be Mark a free ball on here. Oh, eyes on the referee. No, no free ball. That's why he's having it put back. And he'll have no, and no surprise. This is the longest frame of the match. Such a big frame. It's a dangerous shot, this, that Ronnie's attempting. Because if, even if he does hit the yellow, if it's at a fraction thick, it's an in-off into the corner. Yeah, can you put it up, Polly? This is really important to get this exactly yeah. right. Mark Selby looking, Ronnie O'Sullivan looking. Yeah. Now he's trying to thin cut. That to me is the best way to go. I mean, you just have to scrape the paint of this yellow and a fraction thick. So to me, just come off the side cushion before the middle pocket. If you hit the red full in the face, chance of getting it safe. The thin cut safety is playing. It's just so dangerous. But he's trying it again. Just wonder whether he's playing the cut to go two cushions, John. Left hand side cushion and back into Bork.
didn't appear to have a chance to get it safe. It's not done too bad. The pot is on, obviously, but is it worth the risk? Well, that is the question. I suppose you could play the cue ball twice across, so you're playing the pot with a bit more pace and hoping if it rattles the jaws, it will run along the ball cushion. The other way is obviously play it slow and just hope you leave a full ball snooker on the green. As it is, waiting for a better chance. Well, another very fortunate shot there. I mean, the blue in the middle of the table covering the yellow, you could never have expected that. Well, another great shot from Ronnie, and I think he's got away with it, has he? But this is a very, very tense final, and obviously they need a little bit of a break in between this session and the, la the next session. They probably need at least an hour, so the tournament director has decided this will be the last frame of the afternoon session. So only six frames are going to be played in this session. It's going to be a long one tonight if it goes all the way, but I think they need a little bit of rest before they come out to battle the way to the World Championship tonight. I've got to be honest, he's had some run this train, Mark Selby. He's this work, but he needs to hit it foolish to keep distance between cue ball and object ball and couldn't have played that better. <laughs> Beautifully controlled. Swerves there. This frame still well and truly in the balance. Yes, we've already mentioned it's the longest frame of the match so far, and there could be a few more minutes left yet. All <coughs> oh, that time he played the snooker, as you can see. Careful here, if he catches this yellow too thin, he could catch the bump of the middle pocket. But he's played it nicely. With a nice controlled swerve. Just get the feeling at the moment, though, that Mark Selby is just in control of this very important tactical exchange. Of course, the players will be unaware that uh, this is the last frame. Not the best of safety this time, but the Greens come to his rescue. Yes, and believe it or not, this isn't the most straightforward of safety shots. Obviously, you've got to get the yellow safe, you've got to avoid the double kiss, kiss on the brown. Kiss on the blue doesn't help. And does this yellow pass the green? Well, if it does, he'll probably take it on, but if it doesn't, it's an easy snooker in behind the brown. But from the patch that we're going to show you now, there you can see clearly pots. This bout of safety players just made everything difficult, but once again, Mark's had a massive piece of fortune. Whatever sport you play, you can't beat a bit of luck. Now, Ronnie needs a bit here in playing this escape. Can he get this yellow safe?
I'm not he's probably the only player in the game at the moment that doesn't even show out whether he's had good luck or bad luck. He doesn't, ap he doesn't apologise when he has a bit of good luck, and as you can see, he doesn't shake his head when he's had a bit of bad luck. But oh, it looks like he's winding it up to take this on. With the green being close to the pocket, doesn't have to do too much for the cue ball. There's the right going now, just played it that well. I thought he'd hold it for the green. Has it got a path through to the, re to the green? Sure. He has. He'll run it. He's going to have to sit there now and see what Mark Selby can make of this chance. He needs green, brown, blue and pink. Well, first of all, he needed the green and that was, I Mark thought, Selby too. the least of his problems. Yes, he got out anxious there, didn't he? You, see, you saw a bit of body movement there. You, you saw his arm go as well. There was a lot of movement in the back there. He really tried to get into that green there, hit it hard. He won't be happy with the way he queued that. Well, obviously the green will pass the pink to the middle. He's just worried about the line of the cue ball. Looks for all money as though he's going to run into the black. So try to avoid the kiss on the black. Miss the green. He'll be happy with the the end result, though. Probably deserve to get away with one. A little wry smile there from Ronnie. The fact that the brown's gone safe now is, means there's a lot of work in this frame left yet. play the cross double here but got to make sure he hits the green hard enough to get it back into the middle of his back cushion. Well playing it up and down was dangerous. What's that there? Yeah, as I said a few moments ago, Ronnie's been hitting the safety. He's usually such a smooth cueist. But as we keep saying, there's a lot of tension out there. They don't know it, we know it. This is the last frame. Who's going to have a lead going into the final session this evening? Good shot that from Mark. Don't think the cue ball reaches the pocket, so excellent length. You wouldn't think Ronnie would want to bring the brown into play here if he can avoid it. But needs a good cue ball. Just pushing the green past the middle pocket. Well, I think he's left the cut on. But how do you get on the brown? Well, it looks impossible. Obviously, if the black wasn't where it was, he could get onto the brown in the top right-hand corner. But the angle he's got, I don't think he can get onto the top left. And the cue ball is always going to be going that side of the table. And it's not an easy safety shot if it keeps carrying on. Three. That's OK, now I can, can leave the white where the brown is or even play a little stun run through and try and sneak in behind the black. That's what he's looking at, but he's got to be... The key thing here is get the object ball safe. You know the white's going to be good. It's just a case of getting that brown safe. He took a chance to get in behind the black. And another three or four inches of play, it would have been. Mark Selby, three. But it's safe enough. Only or Sullivan, one point, the lead.
both players looking for brown, blue and pink. And that could be a telling one. He's got the snooker. Easy to hit. Come off the top cushion first. But if you don't catch that brown full in the face, you could leave it. So he's got to hit this absolutely perfect. As I say, easy hit. He needs to hit the, the brown full. Hits it full, but it ran into the blue. Now, will Ronnie be tempted by this? I always look at these shots and think, what's easier, the pot or the safety? Ronnie thought the safety was a lot more guaranteed. <laughs> Leaves that round just to stop a bit. Because Mark Selby has that same option, come off the top cushion first, kick the brown from behind. <coughs> but it's not safe, by any means. Oh, it needs to be pretty close to the blue to make the blue a lot easier than it is. So he may decide to screw this in around two cushions. Trying to keep the white somewhere around the blue spot. The brown there has a cue ball running loose. A beautiful pot. Four. Blue and pink needed. Sort of way. Ronnie's done well to get out of this session and be in front. Having lost six frames on the trot, similar to Selby last night, it looks like he's going to win the last two of the session. Oh. Well, why so hard? I ask myself. Ronnie why is he not just stunned in? And why play for the black when you don't need it? What on earth has gone on there? After said that before, take nothing for granted, but I took that for granted. Well, and no can, reason not to. I can only presume Johnny's misread the scoreboard. I mean, you can't possibly do that, can you? You can just stun it and leave the white where the blue spot, near the blue spot, you don't have to play it hard. That's just a, either a lack of concentration or misread the scoreboard. Now, this will hurt, because that pink's in. It needs the black. The black Six. is a lot more difficult than Ronnie's pink. This is a tough shot. Session quite easily, but now takes the lead in the match from 10 5 behind. He's now 12 11 in front. All to play for this evening, though.